What's going on guys, this is Jason here and I'm doing my commentary for C4D modeling and I know you guys have been wanting this for a while, well from what I think because I've seen it in the comments several times and so here it is, um, you guys did give me that 50 likes that I wanted and I'm so happy and I'm so glad that you guys wanted me to do this and I'm more than happy to do it. And this might be a little longer tutorial, so please be ready or prepared. I mean, I understand you may not like watching long tutorials. I'm not a big fan of it either. But if you want to get a thorough explanation of what's going to happen and what's going on, then, um, yeah, please refer to this video. So we're going to get started. Um, usually what I would grab right as I start, I go to this blue cube right here, click actually don't click <laughs> click and hold and then keep holding and then let go on Taurus and then here you get this Taurus I think is how you pronounce it I'm sorry if it annoys you because that might may be the wrong way of pronouncing it but yeah this is it um, this is just a regular material I mean not material uh, r render sort of thing that comes with Cinema 4D and you can grab it right away um, so yeah we're gonna start with editing it now I'm getting the two dots that help get get bigger smaller thinner everything and so these are two yellow dots that appear on the side usually most of the time it does for me sometimes I find that it doesn't I don't understand why I'm not the biggest cinema 4d expert but yeah it doesn't happen to me as much as I'd like it to um, so yeah, edit however you'd like. You can also edit it on the bottom right corner right here as ring radius, ring segments, pipe radius, pipe and pipe segments, and then orientation I've not messed with, but it's at positive Y for me, and I guess that's what it's always been. Okay, so these white boxes are segments, and um, the pipe radius segments are, well, no, the pipe segments are the horizontal set uh, vertical segments while the uh, ring segments are the ver uh, horizontal ones so you can edit how much you want on there you uh, should decide now because yeah I don't think you can change them later but let's get started into the actual modeling part and now this is basic modeling you probably right may already know it or not depending on who you are but yeah this is how you do it so we're gonna click this top in the top left corner around there a little lower um, you want to click this button and then go down until you find this top this uh, orange square and a four square shape and click it god I hate this I never figured out how to get rid of it alright and then you're gonna get these all these segments and they're gonna turn blue and they're gonna be all individually selectable so what you want to do and start with is, um, by the way, I'm going to explain this now. If you use your scroller key, you can scroll um, with viewing out or going in. And w if you hold one and hold the key and click, you can move around the camera view like this. Two, if you move your mouse to the right, it zooms in. To the left, it zooms out. And if you hold three and click and hold, you can rotate with your camera view. So I just wanted to explain that so that it just may, it probably will make it a billion times easier if you can use that. Alright, so now we're going to, I'm going to, what I usually do is I click and then leave a space in between and then click and then so on. And so I choose on, I do it on one row. I haven't done it like on a pattern where it goes on different rows. So I probably will end up trying that now that I've thought of it. And so yeah. Alright, so like so let's do this you have to hold shift in order for it to stay selected and now you have to hold shift the whole time all the way until you finish which we're right about there right here so now you got them all selected and now you want to edit them make it cool do some cool effect you've seen people do curvy stuff and uh, boxes come out of these uh, segments so what you want to do is you want to right, right click and there's bevel, extrude, extrude, inner, matrix extrude, extrude, and smooth shift. 
Now, you're going to want to choose between any of those. I'll get through some of them soon. But right now, I'm going to start off with, start off with um, Matrix Extrude. So you just click, and then your mouse gets this Matrix Extrude uh, icon thingy right next to it. So what you're going to do is click and hold, and then slowly either go to the right or to... Well, you're going to want to go to the right. But to see this effect happening... You want to take a different view and see and just slowly go to the right depending on how sensitive it is sometimes it starts off some sensitive for me it's not right now but yeah so here it is that's matrix extrude um i'm going to show you next the next one i'm going to show you will be bevel so let's do another row let's click three go along the row again all the way until you meet up with the other square that you had first clicked on like so and then right click again and go to extrude or actually bevel and then what you do is that you just drag out with your right it goes out and with your left it goes in like that so bevel kind of gives like if you slowly do it that sort of effect um it's kind of a yeah a beveled effect that's pretty much what it is it's nothing special it's just well depending on how creative you are you can probably go nuts with it and do something crazy and out of the ordinary that i have not seen before but yeah let's go to the next row and uh click again I realize this is getting repetitive, I know it is, but if you want a thorough explanation, here it is. I mean, it's it's great explanation, I think at least. I mean, I might, I may be not going to too much details as much as I should be, but this is again a basic tutorial, not something that's for uh, people who've worked for this all their graphics career or whatever. But yeah, so let's go to the next tool, which is Extrude. Now it's the same thing if you go right it comes out left it goes in so let's take a different camera view let's click control Z for Windows so that it can uh, deselect or go backwards and so and drag it out a little huh that's interesting I've actually have not seen that before where it's had these spiral things come out but I'm not gonna have it this far ah that's neat kind of interesting I have not seen that before well, let's just do it like that and so yeah we got that and when you ever have an orange uh, um, highlight showing up on one of the segments that's where you can uh, drag in a material and it'll specifically go to that um, segment and so I just want to explain that if you're just curious and so maybe you want to add in a different um, different object so let's go to that cube again click and hold and then maybe you want to get a landscape now a landscape is a mountain um, so as you can tell right here it's interesting because it's not you don't need anything in order to create it you just got settings and it makes it for you so here's the size width length um, you can change it to anything practically so I just changed that um, that's height <laughs> kind of looks crazy um, it's just to 200 and then you just maybe want to drag down you may not want it you don't need it that's for sure uh, maybe it may kind of just look ridiculous in this thing which in my case I think it kind of does um, just doesn't fit but it depends I don't know what it looks looks like in a light room but yeah so those are two uh, two things you wanted to if you wanted to know um, this tutorial has been already really long now you guys may want to know how to add in a logo so what you want to do is go and get an AI um, of any logo you like I'm just gonna drag out the sore one 
you're just gonna drag it into Cinema 4D and then you're gonna get a, f a file now you may have two layers you may have one of the AI file so right here you go to the layers panel and here you have two paths because there is uh, two separate different objects and so what you're really gonna do to get a 3D object is go to this cute green cube right here hold and drag your mouse to extrude nerves and let go click control C control V for windows drag the paths onto their own extrude nerves then click and hold shift to select both layers and maybe let's make the depth 50 50 and make these both fill a caps and then steps and radius to whatever you'd like I usually have my setting at 1 not 100 um, but yeah that's just my simple creativity not even creative it's just something I do just so it's not edgy it's kinda smooth you can always have a material added onto it so that it looks good depending on your Lightroom again it's just all how your Lightroom looks now you may see that this logo is gigantic click this box right here in the top left next to these arrows uh, where it's like north east south west and just um, hold, click, hold shift oh well, you don't even have to hold shift but um, just click and if you drag to the right it goes big drag to the left it gets small let's drag to the left so it's it's smaller and so it fits into this thing and then you're gonna want to grab the rotate tool which are these recycling arrow direction things that's what makes it makes me think of for some reason and then you're just gonna want to hold shift for this um, just so you get a more precise measure let me redo that click control Z if you ever want to backspace something hold shift click that vertical line all the way until you hit 90 degrees so that it's perfect um, leave flat depending on how you want it you may not want it flat I sure as hell don't want it flat and so yeah you fit, fit it like nice and snug uh, you can even get smaller just so you can see the full logo drag it up maybe a little just so there's a little more depth showing and let's take this you may not even want the landscape let's take it out and then select all layers click control C for windows go to any Lightroom you like I prefer the TPJ Lightroom um, I just discovered it a long time ago and I had a, happened to like it and so let's edit it a little let's make it like rotatable and stuff so that it's neat and just render out now it depends you may want to add a material you may not want to you're probably going to want to just cause it won't look nice without one now this is too basic I understand that I'm not the best at this of course um, I will never be wish I would be but I won't so I just put on a random material that is way too bright and ugly dislike it very much so okay so that's pretty much it for this tutorial guys I didn't realize I sound really monotone and poor and not nice to listen to I get that um, this is just a basic tutorial um, any person with cinema 4d who's had somewhat a bit of an experience with it knows what to do um, so yeah that's pretty much it guys I hope you guys enjoyed it is a long tutorial I hope you guys can stay through the whole thing um, so yeah, I hope you guys do enjoy. I will do this like and like thing or whatever I want in order to free you guys to get a tutorial that you guys may have wanted for a while. Um, I may can just may continue that. But yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Peace.